We're here in, Edi in Edina, Minnesota today for a beautiful car show. There's $10 million worth of cars. And we got some good sponsors here today. And uh, we're gonna just get you a heads up on what's going on. Hey everybody, Mike Stanton, Lake Sotheby's International Realty. I'm having the treat of my life in this Ferrari SF90 Spider. I can't even believe I'm sitting in this car. I'm afraid to touch it. Anyway, this is my favorite car, period, 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 at the show. Come see it. Thank you. Yeah. We'll, we'll show you the winners later on today. Awesome. Thank you. So for all the car owners, let's drop the music a little bit. Actually, let's just drop it out, the music. Let's drop the music out. It's Chris Lutowski here. Isaac, let's drop the music out for a second. Thank you very much. We're going to announce the season winners. So let's do a little circle right here. Actually, here, let's move this down a little bit, shall we? Let's go in front of this red car. This looks like a good random spot to do the best in show and other awards. Okay, so first of all, if you're a winner from last year, come on up here. I want to talk to you. Robbie, Bob, John, the hardest working man in showbiz right here. Robbie, come up. Mark, Bob, where and where's Dan? Dan, are you here? Dan, come up here, Dan. Yep, time to do the horse, dog, and pony show, Dan. Right here, Dan. Right in front of you. Dan, come Dan, on. right here. Dan, here Dan. you go. Okay. Dan, the man. So these are these are last year's winners. I'd like you to introduce each of you and just tell us a little bit about your car, okay? So we're going to start with Mark. Mark was the best in show, People's Choice. Last year we had two validated awards. The other one's not here. Chad Bjornsson. Regrets, but Mark is here. Tell us a little bit about your car from last year um, and the horsepower and anything else you want. Sure, it's uh, the blue Shelby GT500 over here. Um, we're running about 1,007 horsepower on the ground, 1,200 horsepower in the train. Um, do a lot of track days with it, and uh, it's a lot of fun. Awesome, and thank you for participating again. Mark's one of those guys that went out to. Uh, the, one of the, the auto plexes and just walked into his cave and said, hey, would you like to be in the show? And just like Bob, he was a yes man. So I appreciate your support for the show and of course bringing us the very best in luxury and exotic cars in Minnesota. Thank you so much. All right, let's hear it from Mark. Next, we're gonna hear from John about this beautiful car to my left. Let's just step back a little bit. He was a top five winner. Tell us a little bit about it. Uh, just give us the background on it and anything else you can say. Well, I'm Mark's neighbor at the Medina Autoplex, and it's not fair I have to go after him because mine only has 707 horsepower. <laughs> Show off. So this is a 69 Charger. 
Uh, it's been redone from, from, from front to back. Uh, the suspension is a Detroit Speed suspension, so this has no body roll. It doesn't float like a lot of muscle cars. This will, this will corner like a dream. And it's got a supercharged Hemi in it, uh, straight from Dodge, Hellcrate motor. And I tried to keep the interior as original as possible, so you've got that feel of being a kid at the auto dealership in 1969, pestering the auto dealer to let you sit in it. So fine, kid, sit in it, and then go away. So inside, it's as original as possible, but it's all modern, the rest of it. So that's, that's it. Let's hear it for John. Our mic's dying. Chris Laskowski, are you on site? He's here. We need a battery, dude. He's here. Hook us up. Chris Laskowski, are you here? In the here. He is? Chris Laskowski, buddy, I think you need a battery. But before we do that, let's go to the next. Where's Robbie? Robbie's right in front of me. Let's, Robbie has Rolf thing. Let's just step back a little bit and have you give us a little bit of background in this vehicle. Alright, so the quick background is the Starlight has a Mustang and then went through some minor cosmetic surgery. It's technically a Zimmer Mustang. I call it the Rolf thing because it's a lot easier to explain to people. And then my full-time job is to annoy people on the internet with it. Let's hear it for Robbie. He has two of these too, but we, we a little mixed up. We couldn't see the other one, but both of them are just lit. Okay, now, Dan, where are you, Dan? Dan had to leave early last year and didn't get his award in person, but we met at Galleria. And I just want to say, uh, Dan, tell us a little bit. Let's step forward, actually, and look at this Nova SS and tell us a little bit about it. Been working on it oh, constantly since then. Uh, there's always something to do on it. Um, it's a simple speed, it's three fifty, it's very good, like four hundred horsepower, and but uh, it's just been a lot of fun to play with and work on. And nice thing about these cars is you can work on it. And that's what I love about it. Thank you. Let's hear for Dan Colford. All right, Dan. Okay. Now the moment of truth we've all been waiting for. Let's just take a little step back and make a circle. I want this to be clear right here so we can talk a little bit about the winning cars. But I'm going to do a quick battery change up. Give me 30 secs. Who's talking? Is he talking? Check one, two. Okay, let's get a little little volume on that too. All right. So now the, the, the moment you've been waiting for, first of all, let's hear it for all the car owners here today. A big round of applause. I have the best car show participant pool in the world. I'm telling you, these are great people with great cars. You don't always get both, but we have both. It's still cutting out a little bit, Chris. I don't know if I'm in the wrong location or what. Don't know. Okay. Well, without further ado, first of all, I'd like to... So we have five juried awards, top five in show. That's five cars. And then we have the best in show, which all you voted for. There was an overwhelming winner for the best in show. It wasn't even close. But I'm going to start with the top five in show. So if you're here... And I, I need my, uh, who's going to help me here at the, at the stage? Who can do that? Okay, perfect. Please step forward. What's your name? Lauren. Lauren, where do you go to school? What was your favorite car today? Um, okay, good start. But I know you have one deep in your heart. So, so first of all, um, we have... Top five in show, five awards, plus I want to thank Lunds and Byerleys for the gift certificates going along with these, as well as the best in show, Vivron. Uh, Joseph, are you here? Joseph, uh, this is Joseph's shop, Vivron, and you want to just show this around the audience a little bit. What he did was a custom etching on this knife. Tell us a little bit about the knife. Certainly, so this is made in San Diego uh, from a gentleman who's making knives primarily for special forces so he cares about performance 
and we were really happy to collaborate with him to put the uh, image of last year's winner on this knife, and we're gifting it. We're gifting it to Mark, and then this year's winner will also have their car etching on this, the best in show as well. But let's, why don't you just kind of show that around? Can you showcase that? Because it's an absolutely beautiful, here, let's do it in the case. It's just cool. But let's showcase that around the crowd a little bit. Meanwhile, let's do top five in show. We'll start with this one. And the first winner is show number 36, show car number 36, the Shelby GT500, top five in show. Are you here, the owner? We have a no name on this. So if you are the Shelby, that's... Okay, Mark, let's hear from our girl stand, number five, top five in show, the Shelby GT500. Of course, of course, we just heard about this car. Give this man an award right there. And with the envelope, young lady. Now let's get a picture over here. Where's Jennifer Henderson? Get ahead. You want to come in? Let's do landscape too for the website. Got the landscape. Okay, next. Show car number 143, Dave Teske, 1960 Plymouth Fury. Congratulations, Dave. Are you here? Dave, are you here? Dave Teske, 1960 Plymouth Fury. Are you in the building? Okay, TBA on that. Number three, a Rotarian, no less. Luther Amundsen, 69 Mach 1 Ford. Congratulations, Luther. Luther is a retired attorney. Where are you, Luther? He's coming. Luther. Where are you, Luther? Here he comes. Come on up here for your photo op, dude. And we're going to do photos afterwards with all the winners after the other cards clear up. We're going to have a winner's circle again. Come do a photo. Congratulations to Luther. Tell us a little bit about your car. It's a car. A car. Okay, a little more details. How did you get it? Uh, was it restored by you or someone else? What's your favorite thing about it? Yeah. Um, number one, it's a 428 with 446 horsepower. It's definitely completely restored. Bought it out of Cleveland, actually, about 15 years ago. Drove it back here when it was out of line. What's your favorite thing about it? All right. Awesome. Thank you, Luther. Okay. If anyone sees Dave Teske in the building, just give me a shout out. Okay, next. Okay, perfect. Next. Number three. Number two. Show car number one. Kevin with the 2023 Maserati MC20. Oh, here we go. That's that's from Maury's. Let's go. MC20, the digital mint. Let's have Kelvin take this prize for Maury. Kelvin, are you here? Paging Kelvin, are you in the building? Kelvin, top five, are you here? I know he's here somewhere. Well, anyway, MC20, digital mint. Top five in show. Let's hear it for Kelvin. You're going to have to put that down because you got a photo op. Just throw it on the ground right there. That's my son, Jonathan. Congratulations. Okay, let's step forward a little bit. We're going to take a photo here. All right, tell us a little bit about the, the Digital Man MC20. Uh, it's a 2023 version. There's only 73 made in that color. Turbo V6, 631 horsepower, 0 to 60, 3.6 seconds. Wow. Let's hear it for, Let's hear it for, for Kelvin. Let's hear it for Kelvin right here. MC20, okay. Top five in show, the last trophy of the day goes. Oh, I'm so glad. This is great. All right, show number 10, Brad Fritz, 2024 Spider AF. Congratulations. Brad, are you here? Where are you? 
All right, Brad Fritz is here for him. Okay, let's get a photo op with Jennifer Henderson. Back to work. Okay, tell us about your car. Tell us uh, when you got it, whether you restored it or not, what's your favorite thing? Um, got it in May. It's an elegant Ferrari. It's their fastest Ferrari ever made. Faster than a lot Ferrari. Faster than a Tesla Blazer. What's your favorite thing about it? Pretty fast. All right, let's hear it for Brad. When do I get a ride? That's all I want to know. Let's go down to uh, southern Minnesota and hit some of those back routes. And now, moment you've all been waiting for. Whoops. Moment you've all been waiting for. And i got to say something about this winter. Um, you know, some people just come with their best always. And this guy always comes with his best. I don't know how we were fortunate enough to cross paths, but I'm so grateful for him being a part of this. So this is a ballot award. Um, the voting tally was off the charts and this is a clear winner and the 2025 best in show if this thing will stop clicking out and i'm going to have you tell us a little bit about the car goes to mark milstein for the Lamborg lamborghini hurricane for porto monte there Super Leggero, there's a lot of Italian terms after this. So tell us a little bit, let's do a photo op and then you can tell us about it. Awesome. Okay, tell us about this car. Sure, so those of you that uh, aren't into Lamborghinis, uh, Performante is a limited run track edition. It was actually set the Nuremberg lap record in 2018 as the fastest production car ever built. It has the second fastest zero to 60 time ever tested by Road and Track Magazine, 2.3 seconds, zero to 60. It's all wheel drive, um, really, really fast on a track and, uh, and a whole lot of fun. What's your favorite thing about it besides the really cool color and the emblem in gold? Uh, the way it handles on the track. Let's hear it from Mark. <laughs> Mark, I just want to say again, thank you so much for always bringing the best. I just love it, and I'm uh, looking forward to many more years. You, you're, you're cleaning up on hardware all the time. Can't make this up. So, uh, to our top five winners and the best in show, uh, congratulations. And after, as cars are clearing out, we would love to have you kind of fill in on this side of the winner's circle before you, you come out so we can get a drone shot and just celebrate today. But, Thank you again, everyone. Um, the show is going to continue. We're, we're here through 4 o'clock. Let's hear it for our winners for 2024. <laughs> now, one other quick thing I want to tell you for the winner. You get the custom blade, but they also get a custom piece of art by Ken Maz, my co-chair. Tell us a little bit about the process of making that artwork. So with this one right here, what we're going to do is take some pictures before you leave. Okay. And, and, and there we go. And we have last year's winner, was ordered over here, and I did it with that car. So we're going to do a portrait of the car, and um, it'll be done over the course of the next couple months. And uh, you're going to really enjoy it. I know that you enjoyed the last one, because fortunately this gentleman won last year with a different car. Um, but you can come over. It's also a mentioned merch. Here we go. The picture's right here, Josh. You can hold that up high. My, my elegant hand marker. So this is the picture that we did last year for the winner. We're going to take some pictures of this. I work from photographs, and we're going to create a nice, uh, completely different one. This one, this one was the Mustang depicted in Road America last year. So congratulations on winning. I really look forward to doing that again. So. All right, let's roll the music. Take it up, enjoy this last little yeah, bit here. Uh, Lots of food for you, Mr. Wilson. Go open. get your trophy. Uh, welcome to the yeah. show, ma'am. Uh, what's your name? I'm late. Yeah. Oh, oh, tell Who do you know here? Uh, this is my mom who came out for the show. How about that? Let's go. 15 minutes, we'll have a raffle, and then that'll wrap it up for this year. But the food court will be open. So I'm going to go back over there. For, are you going to be here for a little bit? Yeah, I don't think I can.